Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. I have seven sentences to talk about today. I am 45 years old, unfortunately. Number two, smoking is dangerous to your health. Number three, she was singing in the shower yesterday. Number four, the fact is that I love teaching English. Number five, he would like to have a relaxing holiday, whether it be in the mountains or on the beach. Number six, they are to move to Detroit next week. Number seven, my friend was caught cheating during the exam. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the verb to be. So stay tuned. To be or not to be, William Shakespeare. Yes, the verb to be is the most important verb in the English language. I am, you are, he, it, she, is, we are, you are, and they are. If you don't remember, don't worry, we're going to review it in this lesson. So for the first example that I, I gave you was talking about age. So I am 45 years old, you are uh, 19 years old, etc. The second example was about descriptions. So, I said that smoking, smoking is, smoking cigarettes, I mean, is bad to your health, okay? So, this is for the first and second uh, usage of, uh, of the verb to be. So, for the third one, as an auxiliary, and uh, in which tense do we use the verb to be as an auxiliary? Present and past continuous, yes. Just like my example, she was singing in the shower yesterday, I said. Or she is singing right now for the present continuous. So, as an auxiliary verb. To, uh, number four was to introduce a that clause. So, for example, the fact is that I love teaching English. The fact is that, this is the clause right there, the that clause, that I love teaching English. For the fifth example, we use it uh, with the weather clause. And here, the verb to be turns into a subjunctive form. I'm going to dedicate a lesson on the subjunctive, so don't worry about it. But the example was, he would like to have a relaxing holiday, whether it be in the mountains or on the beach, I said. Whether it be. So this would be a subjunctive form of the verb to be. Now, uh, for formal contests, we use the verb to be, and so it, it means is a, a modal verb here. Here turns into a model verb. This is a formal context, so it's not that used, but in formal context we use it. So, they are to move to Detroit next week. So that means it is the same as saying they are going to move to Detroit next week. It's the same. It's just that this is more formal. The verb to be is also used for passive sentences. And the example was, my friend was caught cheating last week. Remember that uh, we have to comply with each, with the tense we're using. So in this case is past simple passive, right? And so is the verb to be in the past, so was, because it's the third person singular, plus the past participle of uh, catch, so caught. And this is the passive. So it's the past simple passive. If we wanted to say it in the 
present simple passive, this would be yes, my friend is caught. Okay, but it doesn't sound right. It's just this one is better or has been caught for the present uh, perfect passive. So I chose to, to use the past simple passive. My friend was caught cheating last week. So now let's recap. The verb to be is the most important verb in the English language. We can use it as an auxiliary, as a modal verb, and as a full verb, obviously. We discuss seven important functions for the verb to be. When we talk about age and description of something, as an auxiliary verb for the present continuous or past continuous, obviously. To introduce a that clause, after a weather clause, and thus subjunctive, as a modal verb for futurity and in passive sentences. So that's it for today. If you want to write your example with the verb to be, you may do so under this video. You also may write your comment or a complaint or a suggestion. <laughs> yes, type it under this video. I hope you have a great day and I see you the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.